Hi, welcome to another video. So, I keep covering stuff about how you can use Klein and Ader for free by using something like Samba Nova, Grok, Cerebras, Gemini, or even recently, the Mistral Free API, which was pretty amazing. But most of these options limit you to open source models, which means that you cannot access models like GPT-40 or other similar ones. For example, even if you want to use the models for a simple message, you can't do that without paying. There are some ways that give you very limited messages as APIs, but nothing reliable. However, recently, I found something that can give you access to more than 30 models, including GPT-40, GPT-40 Mini, Llama 3.1, and even Mistral's models, and this is called GitHub Models. So, GitHub Models was launched a while back, but it was under limited preview, and only people who got through the waitlist could use it. But recently, it has been released for everyone under public preview, which means that we can use these models through it. GitHub Models gives you access to all these models, except the O1 and O1 Mini model, because they are limited to people who are given access to the model by GitHub themselves. Anyway, all these models are available for simple chat on their playground for free, including an API that you get with it as well. Now, it's free, but it obviously doesn't mean that you can use it without rate limits. So, when you click on the model, you'll land on this page, and you'll see this rate limit tier. In this tier, you can either see low or high. Now, what does this low or high mean? Well, you can see it here when you click on the high or low link. So, when a model is under the high tier, and if you're on a free account or co-pilot account, which most of you would be on, including me, then you'll get 10 requests per minute that will be limited to 50 requests per day with 8,000 tokens in and 4,000 tokens out in each request which is kind of okay, considering that you're getting these models for free. While, if you use a model that is in the low tier, then you get better rate limits, where you get 150 requests per day and 15 requests per minute, which is pretty good. I think that these rate limits are pretty good to use, considering that it's better than nothing when you don't want to pay, but still get access to the models. I only use it for the GPT-40 and 40 Mini model because you can get all the other models with better rate limits at some other place. So, that's one thing to consider. Now that's about it. But how can you configure it with Klein or Ader or anything that supports OpenAI-compatible API? Well, you can do that quite easily. Let me guide you through how you can set it up with both. First of all, we'll need to go to any of the models here. Now, here you'll see this Get API Key button. Once you click it, this modal will open up. Here, you'll need to click this button and generate a personal access token quite easily. Then, once you have that, just keep it in a safe place. Once done, we'll need the base URL as well, because it will obviously not work with the default OpenAI base URL. So, for this, the base URL is this. We'll need to enter this base URL in the application that supports OpenAI-compatible API along with the access token that we get, and then we can start using it. Let's configure it with Klein first. First of all, just go over to VS Code and get the Klein extension updated or installed, whichever you see fit. Now, technically, you can select the OpenAI compatible option in the settings and just enter the base URL and stuff to use it. But, unfortunately, it doesn't work for some reason with Klein. So, to use it, you'll first need to install Light LLM, which basically proxies multiple provider LLMs to an OpenAI compatible API. I had also covered it in the Mistral API video I did. Anyway, just install it like this. Once done, export your GitHub API key like this 
and then start the light ALLM server with this command. Once done, we can just refer to this server in anything, and it will proxy that request to GitHub's API. So, let's just open up Klein and go to the settings. Here, choose the OpenAI compatible API option. In the base URL, enter the base URL shown in the server we just started, which will generally look like this, and then enter the access token as anything, because this is just a placeholder, as we have already given it the API key in the server, and then enter the model you want to use. Now, once your config looks like this, just hit the Save button. Once you do that, you can start using the API with Klein. Let's ask it to make a simple calculator app in Rust, because I just want to demo it and nothing else. It's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. and it's done. Here's the code, and the API worked quite well. The code here also looks pretty interesting and seems to be fine. But let's also just open up the terminal and run it to see if it really works or not. Okay, if we send in the input here, then you can see that this works pretty well, which is what we wanted. So it works pretty well with Klein, and it's cool to use when you want some more intelligence in your chat that Mitral or Gemini may not be able to provide. Now, let me also show you how you can use it with Ader. Using it with Ader is pretty easy as well. First of all, install or upgrade, as you may see fit with this command. This command will upgrade your Ader version if it's already installed. Otherwise, it will get installed. Once done, we'll now need to add your API key variable like this. Once done, you can now start using it. To use it, just start Ader with the model name along with the GitHub provider like this. Now once you do that, you'll probably see some warnings if you're using anything, so just ignore those errors. Anyway, now Ader is started, and we can ask it to do anything. Let's ask it for a simple Minesweeper game. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. It's now done. So, this also worked pretty fine without any errors. Let's also run this and check it for ourselves to see if it works well or not. So, if we give some inputs here, then you can see that this also works amazingly. I think that it works well. I thought that this was a great thing to share, because it's always good to have something in your arsenal that you can fire up anytime if you need it. It's great that we can use it for free if we need to. It's really amazing. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.